I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Friday, February 15th. An Orange County jury deliberated for less than two hours yesterday before convicting Long Beach longshoreman Frank Robert Mallory of first-degree murder for killing his live-in girlfriend in their La Palma home by cutting out her tongue. Mallory was arrested at his La Palma home in July 2005 after police found the badly decomposed body of Patricia Dunthorne in his garage. She had been dead for about six weeks. Mallory faces life without parole. Interim Orange County Sheriff Jack Anderson is proposing to staff OC jails with correctional officers instead of sheriff's deputies, saying that could save taxpayers $80 million a year. Anderson says correctional officers need less training and receive fewer pension benefits than deputies. But not everyone is supporting the plan. Union officials representing the deputies say it would bring lower safety standards. Habitat for Humanity is launching Homes for Heroes in San Juan Capistrano to help provide affordable housing to members of the U.S. military. Staff Sergeant Paul McQuig is a disabled Marine severely injured by an IED in Iraq. The single father of a four-year-old son has qualified for one of 27 townhomes to be built this spring. And Staff Sergeant Joe Morales is already putting in sweat equity at other Habitat building sites so he can provide a home for his wife and two daughters, Camille and Josie. Active duty military as well as U.S. veterans are encouraged to apply. And while many were romancing or being romanced for Valentine's Day last night, some were at Fashion Island hitting their loved ones in the face with a pillow. It was a public pillow fight at Fashion Island. Word was spread through a message on Facebook inviting people to show up at Fashion Island's fountain, pillows in hand. The crowd turned out to only be eight people, but the participants still had fun. This was the first attempt at a public pillow fight in Orange County, but pillow fights advertised online have drawn thousands of people in other cities. Weekdays, watch Daybreak OC from 6 to 8 a.m. on KDOC and catch Real Orange weekday evenings at 6.30 on KOCE. To read more about all of these stories and to get your breaking news all day, click on OCRegister.com.